What's up, crypto freaks? Tom Selly, Crypto Lifestyles. Um, I want to talk about network fees and explain to you how they work. Um, you know, there's many ways to pay when you're joining 50 50, uh, but you know, everyone I'm connected to are all crypto heads. So we're going to go with a co op wallet because we want to pay with crypto. If you're a member of Coin Payments, you can use them. Um, and co op token is uh, it's only for the software fee. I'll, I'll, I'll do later videos on, on these options, but let's just jump into the co-op wallet. Now, what's great about the co-op wallet, it allows you to pay with whatever crypto you, you, you're holding. Remember the old days when, when you did this stuff? Um, you, you could decide what you wanted to get paid in, right? You could say, well, I only want Ethereum or I only want Bitcoin. And then if the person that was joining didn't have Bitcoin, then it was you know on them to figure out how to get it. So here... We just give them tons of choices. Whatever they're holding, pretty much, uh, will accept. And then, of course, here's the wallet address. But I want you to come over here and look at these fees because this is um, super important. Um, okay, like, look at the uh, true USD fee, uh, the safety surplus fee. What's that? This is the, the important thing I want to cover. You know, we already know we're paying an admin fee, right? We already know that we're paying the 25, which is the, uh, the first matrix. Of course, you can pay multiple matrices here if you want. But what's the safety surplus? Well, it's because uh, cryptocurrency is volatile. And in the time it takes you to send this payment to this wallet, it could take 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, and this, this currency, this asset, could drop in value. So they're holding 10% here uh, in case the asset drops. And then they're going to pull from this 10% to make up the difference. And then once the payment is confirmed, any money that's left over is going to just automatically go into your back office wallet and you can request it uh, you know, back uh, anywhere you want to send it or you can just hold it there and, and use it at a later date. But I also want to point out that uh, it's a pretty standard 10% across the board on most cryptos, but not all. Like if we go to Bitcoin, watch this. If we choose Bitcoin as an option, boom, look at that. That's insane. And uh, there's a few reasons for that. Number one, it's because this is a small payment. So the small payments just wind up getting higher fees because there's so much traffic and activity mining, right? This is really the safety surplus has to be more because we don't know what the final result can be as far as the fee uh, uh, with, with Bitcoin moving all around. But what I recommend you guys do is use Ethereum most wallets will hold Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ethereum is like, you know, kind of um, industry standard, right? Look, it just went back down to 375. So if you have Bitcoin and you want to pay with Bitcoin, it's probably better that you convert it to Ethereum because, you know, you're going to get this money back anyway, so it's really up to you. But I just want to point that out because a lot of people think, well, I'm paying 25 and paying 11.99. What's the safety surplus? That's a turnoff when they see that 44 bucks. They feel like that's a gotcha from the company, and it's really not. What it is, is it's a safety precaution to ensure that this payment goes through because there'd be nothing worse than if um, we didn't have the safety surplus, uh, the price of Bitcoin went down, the customer paid, but then they didn't get credited because they didn't pay enough, right? So that's that charge. This processing fee, it's always going to be 1.5% of whatever the, uh, the, the total price is. And then the network exchange fee, this is what, uh, you know, it, it, this is what we get charged on the network to convert the crypto and to transfer the crypto. So, you know, um, that's, I mean, this isn't our charge. This is coming from the network partner. So anyway, this 44 would come back if you wanted to pay with Bitcoin and you just didn't care. But if you start looking at all these other cryptos, like let's look at Litecoin. Watch this. Now, Litecoin seems to be a little bit more, like maybe that's 20%. And that's why, again, I recommend Ethereum if you have it. Now, of course, if you're holding uh, true USD, um, you know, that's great too because it's only 375. I just want to point that out so you guys understand that uh, there's no gotchas here. The truth is the safety surplus ensures that every payment goes through so we're not spinning our wheels chasing uh, payments that that didn't post because uh, there wasn't enough. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, I got more videos to come and we'll see you on the flip of the